<coughs> so I'm watching James Condon at the moment on um, YouTube. So <coughs> I was talking to um, my friend Dave because um, he wants, um, well he had a stroke um, a few years back so he's struggling a bit. Um, he hasn't got any much mobility and I, if you remember I recently went up and fixed his graphics card which was <coughs> his graphics card which was overheating well um well based on uh my learning curve and not you know and figuring out what not to do because obviously um uh, things change over time with operating systems and stuff um he wants linux as well on his machine so what we're we going to do uh let me just minimize this actually oh i like the way it turns this golden color during the night time when the sun goes down it's easier on the eye so i found my old cd which is actually microsoft plus <laughs> oh god <clears throat> do you remember this microsoft plus uh from wind for windows <laughs> Uh, it's on a re it's on a reusable CD. This it's um what you call it um it's called a rewritable CD. Um so uh, yeah well I'll never use that again because that was for Windows ninety five um, and some people out there the younger generation will say Windows ninety five what's that? <laughs> well that came after Windows three point one which was all text. Um, it's all there wasn't a graphical display technically speaking for windows 3.1 but windows 95 was pretty much the first gui operating system that came out and, and as the as the name suggests <coughs> it actually came out around 1995 right <laughs> probably 10 20 years or more before you were born if you're a young, younger generation but yeah even my own daughters weren't born until what 95 to 90 no 2000 well hang on a minute i'm getting my dates mixed up nine 95 97 that was it yes so yeah it's it's donkey's years old so yeah uh, oh, probably 28 years 29 years ago anyway so um getting close for half a century almost <laughs> not quite but you know what i mean Anyway, so what I'm doing right now <clears throat> um, is my friend Dave, he wants Linux and uh, he wants Zorin operating system. Now, he's downloaded the image. The problem is he hasn't burned it onto a CD because uh, actually Zorin does fit on a CD. Uh, it's, um, it's Windows that doesn't, you have to put that on a DVD because it's so freaking bulky and swollen. But I think, yeah, Zorin does fit on CD, right? Well, I've got a CD. Uh, I, I burnt the image to the CD a few days ago after I got it off the internet, you know, downloaded it from the Zorin website, you know. So what I've got to do is erase this Microsoft Plus. <laughs> oh my God, look. MP3 audio converter, do you remember that? Oh my God, I remember that. MP3 audio converter. Uh, hey, you know what would be cool would be to actually hear if there's any samples in here because I, honestly it's years since I run I use this software I mean you know we used it back when when we were using Windows 95 when it first came out and um, there must be some samples but they're probably they're probably in some archive or cab file. <laughs> But this disc is about to get erased, so I thought, well, before I erase it, and it's all gone for good, I wonder if there's some... Oh, my God, there's some wave files in here. Oh, oh my God, look at that. There's a bunch of wave files in here. I wonder if I should save some of them, because that would be kind of funny to hear that again. Um, Hang on, let's just try some of Uh, it was just a bit. <coughs> let's sort this by size, actually. Uh, let's see. So, Microsoft Plus, it was um, software that came with um, 
let's see where we I can't even see what's behind there. What's that? Eleven megabyte. What? Space that must be start with. <laughs> These are all the start sounds that you'd use with um, Microsoft Plus. <laughs> oh dear, it's just funny to hear that again. Because this is all about to get erased. I'm going to just blank the CD. Because uh, it's one of them CDs you can re rewrite. It's rewritable. Look at that, 2001 I think when I copied made this disc. Uh, that was what, five, six years after Microsoft Windows 95. Came out. Uh, uh, yeah, you you had to back then. The internet was so bad. What you had to do was um, you had to, it took it, it. It would either take you weeks to download stuff, or you'd go to a, a shop and buy it, and um, um, you make a backup copy. And I think that's what that was backup copy, but. Anyway, I've no idea where the original CD is, but it's really, it's just, well, it's just uh, archive stuff now, isn't it? Oh, games, what's in there? I don't play games, but what the heck? Hyperball, Russian Square, the Labyrinth Plus Edition. I'm just having a sniff in it at the moment. <coughs> well, what I could do, because I need the CD for to put Zorin on, right? What I, I think I'll probably gonna do is um, I'll be I'll, I haven't figured out to do it on Linux yet. I haven't figured out to do it on Zorin yet. Uh, is to copy that CD, make an image file, you know, an ISO image of the disk, and then <clears throat> um, hang on, let's let's try that. I've got I can reboot into Windows actually. I'll show you how it all works now. So I close that down. I can go watch that in a bit. So there's the plus CD, right? It it shouldn't be bootable. I hope not anyway, because I'm going to reboot and I don't want to boot into it. <laughs> um, I don't think it's bootable. It better not be. It shouldn't be anyway. Um, I'm going to reboot into my Windows and restart. See how quick this is? It's shut down already. That's how fast Zorin is. It shut down like that. Oh, I hurt my thumb. I hurt my thumb. So, um, I just pulled my thumb out of joint just then trying to flick my fingers. So, don't you dare boot from that freaking CD. Oh, right, cool. So, if I go into my Windows NT 2000, right, my boot menu works. Look, cool. So I'll go into that, because I need to, so I can actually boot into my little operating systems now, right, which is cool. I disabled the internet network adapter actually on there, so it doesn't get infected with a virus, um, because that's the only way to protect it nowadays, or to turn the internet completely off. And So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that image, I'm going to pause this video by the way because it takes ages for windows to start up as you know it's just slow as hell i'm going to copy that image of that cd and make an iso image of it um just in case somebody comes along and says oh you should have deleted that i wanted a copy of that oh it's retro isn't it it's retro it's old stuff um but you never know somebody out there might say i can't believe you went and deleted microsoft plus i've been looking everywhere for that i can't find it and you freaking deleted it. That's what somebody might say, right? So, all right, I'll make a nice so just in case somebody says, oh, you idiot, you effing moron, you deleted that. And I've been looking all over. Right, just in case, yeah. So, <laughs> um, because I doubt if you can buy it anymore. I don't know. Actually, I wonder if you can buy it on Microsoft. Yeah, but why would you buy something that's obsolete and you can't even freaking use it anymore? anymore you can't use it in windows 2000 i mean windows um 10 windows 11 god i'm so old i keep saying windows 2000 what the heck's wrong with me so you can't use it in windows 10 11 12 whatever it is because it's so freaking old right <clears throat> so if you wonder what that is that's my synchronizing it backs up everything on my c 
uh, documents into a different position in case I ever restore my computer I can restore all my documents everything well you know I mean, it's a lot of messing about but I don't need to run that well actually I should run that I should run that because I recently restored it again so it might synchronize some data on here um, so uh, uh, probably my printer 3d printer stuff actually so um yeah, I'll make a backup of that. I'm, I'll just create an ISO of it. Um, I need to check to make sure that the data is good because it might it might be corrupt because that disk is like, what, 15 years old? So if I go to my... Um, where is it? Where's it gone? Where's my little singing midget gone? I can't find it. Oh, go away. Um... Oh, got, oh, VSO Inspector, that's it. So VSO Inspector is a tool for analysing CDs. So I'm going to check to make sure that that CD is not messed up anyway. If it is, I can't make a backup ISO. So I'm going to start the test. And it's going to analyse that CD to make sure it's good. Because let's face it, I can't be, I don't want to be putting Zorin on a CD if it's bad. <coughs> if the if the mechanical structure of the CD is got bad sectors on it, or if it's corrupt, I can't use it for putting um, Zorin, an operating system, on. Right. So I'm just going to analyze it, and uh, there's li these little boxes. Um, let's zoom in a bit more. So these little red, there's a red box, a yellow box, and a green box. And um, as long as there's no errors in the red box, and there's no problems in the yellow box, and we've only got numbers in the green box, the CD's good. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, I'll pause while it does this. It's frigging raining outside. It's chucking it down. All this wind's brought all this rain. Okay, so it's done the um, disk surface test, which passed. And now it's doing the file test. Right, so the file, there's two separate tests. There's the disk surface test, and then there's the file test. And now the file test. Now we could get one or two bad files on there. <coughs> if they weren't written properly, if the laser was weak, or the day... The data on the disk has, over the years has faded for some reason because they use an ink system. The ink in the CD, in the rewritable CD, it basically changes colour. That's why you get them pretty colours. You get so the data is determined by the colours in the ink, and that's done by changed by the lasers. Anyway, it's technical. Batch completed successfully. Oh, my batch file just finished again. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to, it looks like this disc is going to be usable. It looks like I can reuse it. I don't think um, this rewritable disc has been written to more than once. <laughs> so it's only ever had this data on it in like, what, God knows how many years. So it looks like it's going to be a good disc to put um, Zorin is operating a system on it. But I've got to erase it, and that's going to take quite a while because I'm going to do a full erase. Yeah, I'll have to use Nero to do that, I think. Anyway, I'm pausing for a bit while it finishes the scan. Okay, so it looks like it's it's good disc, right? It's past the um, it's past the test. It's just complete. So there's no, nothing bad on that disc. It's in good shape, right? So, okay, so that so, so people don't swear, swear at me. Um, I, uh, I'm going to create a backup image of that disc and then I'm going to erase it. Oh, I don't know why. I, I, wouldn't, I don't want to keep it, but you never know. It's going to be in temporary storage, so if you really want that, and you message me or something. Um, I'm in the wrong menu. I want, I want, I want the um, 
start smart one it's easier for this <clears throat> um this is really old this as well um because I, I can't use new software on, on windows xp because it doesn't work so i want um what is it copy entire copy cd i want that copy cd uh probably gonna get copyright crap or something i don't know so i want to use an image recorder because i'm not putting it on a disc so i want to use um i've got virtual cds in here as well so i'm going to copy that to image recorder image recorder <coughs> copy Oh heck, where do I put it? Because I don't have a lot of room. I'll stick it on H. Um, stick it in images. I think I've got images on here somewhere. Maybe not. I've got images on the other partition. I'll stick, <coughs> I'll stick a new folder. Right. Right. All right, so it's going to copy that CD and then I'm going to erase it. Then if I do need to put it back, I can. Well, it says it completed successfully. It didn't do uh, a verification, which is annoying. I should have if I'd done it in Nero without this thingy. Would have done a verification, but never mind. <sighs> it ejected the damn disk as well. Where's my Where's my little? Oh, it's not there. What? Oh, damn it! I've got to copy them back. My um, my drawer opened and it's across the room on the other side of the table and I'm too lazy to get up. So where's my little close DVD drawer? Hang on a minute, where's where's the freaking what disc? What image? What what path is it? Um, ah, what? S? What the hell are you doing on S? Uh, hang on a minute. I'm going to change my drive letters again. Oh yeah, I restored this, didn't I? Because <laughs> that thing WPA came up, didn't it? The other day. Right, so I've got this little tool thing, and uh, it's um, from Gibson Research. And uh, so when I double click on close DVD dri drive J, which is that one, my drawer, which is over there, should close. Oh, I don't think you can see it. So I'm going to click on it now. Yay! Saves me getting out of my chair. <laughs> so, uh, right, because I need to erase it. Oh, it makes a little noise when you do that as well. I need to copy these two. Um, to my desktop, because I went and restored my computer. And I lost the shortcuts. Uh, I'll stick them up here. Close K, close J. Those are for both the DVD drives, but the other DVD drive is, well, one DVD drive and one Blu-ray drive. But because my other one's inactive right now, because I have to put that PCI Express times one that's a, um, PCB in the computer. Now, oh, anyway, so now I should be able to go to... Uh, I should be able to go to oh, go away. 
on the other one because mm, I should be going to raise that CD now. Um, I don't want that. Um, if I go to recorder, erase rewritable disk. Quick erase, I have to do a full erase I think. Maximum speed, what speed have I got? Um, it'll only do four, four times anyway I think. Is it ten, I'll do ten times, see if it will do ten times. Oh yeah, it's one of the good ones because I've got some of the cheaper rewritable discs. Well they were, they were, they were Philips actually but they were slow, four times speed. These, it looks like an eraser. 10 times speed. Oh, I'll try it anyway. Let's see if that works. Oh, what? What? This dish is not reliable, therefore can't be erased. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was. Oh, so I've got to go and dig around now and find a, a disc that is rewrite. Oh, so I've just made a backup of a disc that I can't even erase. Oh, I'm going to have to delete that image now. Oh, I'm not having a good day. Right, so I'm click OK, cancel, oh, right, so yeah, this is what happens when um, you're not organised. I could have sworn I had a, that was a rewritable one. So uh, I'm going to have to dig through my pile of discs again. <sighs> Looking for all the old junk. It looked like a rewritable one. It was the same colour. The ink was the same colour. What's this Tom Tom Jane thing anyway? I, I, I don't think these are rewritable either. Um, I don't think that's reliable. Oh, that was Dave's. Hmm. Well, I'm looking at the wrong stash. I need to go look. Oh, can't move. I need to look on my other. Um, uh, I'm going to fall over in a minute. <laughs> uh, look amongst the old crap that is no longer, which is obsolete. Oh God. Mister, that is junk. That was the worst operating system ever. Whoever wants to use that anyway. <clears throat> I wish I'd put it on a, a rewritable disc. So I could have erased it. Probably going to get shredded someday. Oh, oh, this looks like a rewritable. No, it's not. Huh? I'm going to find something that I can use, because my friend Dave wants Zorin, and I've got to find a rewritable disc I can use. Oh, we found a slow one. Um, one to four times. Nah, that's got Easy Recovery Essentials for XP. I think that is, at least I know that's there if I need it. So 
which that's a slowly writable face. I've got some more, hang on. Find something that's faster than that, because that's four times speed. Oops. Uh, uh. What am I doing? I'm, pick, I'm getting my distance in the wrong order here. That's rewritable. Ah, Macrium Reflect Rescue Boot CD Use Safe Backup Images. That looks like a fast one. What's the other one? Oh, yeah, I've got a TDK. What's that? Windows XP X64. Yeah, that's a TDK rewritable. I'm going to use that because. Oh, maybe I shouldn't use that because it's got all the serial number on it. Uh, no, that's not the Slipstream one, so... Yeah, I'm going to use that. Because let's face it. What's happening? Oh, my computer just went to sleep. So this is a TDK. Re <sighs> Rewritable. Mm. Right, these are pretty good discs. What the hell's going on, mate? <sighs> What's going on here, mate? So it just timed out on me. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to use this. I think I should, um, I might use the, I might lose the product key so I'm going to take a picture of it <laughs> mm. hang on a minute so this is getting a bit monotonous I've got to check this disc as well I'm just going to scan I'm just going to do the file test I'm not going to do the surface test It takes too freaking long, but this these TDK discs, so uh, rewritable discs, are very fast compared to the Philips ones. The Philips ones were all the generation. That's the all. That's all. But the, the TDK ones I found to be more reliable. See, hang on, I'm gonna. Oh shit! Oh, pause again a minute. Oh, sorry about that. I just I meant to pause it and I forgot. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm not gonna do the Windows disk because let's face it. Um, I decided I've got the old version of Acronis. This is the old version, 2010. It's too old. It's got issues. <sighs> I'm gonna use that instead because I've got. Um, the 2013 one, which seems to be work better. So I'm just going to erase this. I'm just going to erase this rewritable disc instead because uh, uh, easier. Uh, 
Just trying to find a disc that will work, that's all. A reliable disc. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. So, what an oosh shot for us to pull him over. Oh, it's a vacuum cleaner. So, what I normally do is I, um, I'll get some alcohol it's just isopropyl alcohol clean off the label well that's not coming off is it uh, maybe it needs a bit Ah, uh, just finger it until it comes off. So you just... Right. There, clean as a whistle. I can rewrite on there now. I might as well clean the other side because it's a bit finger marked. Don't press hard, just gently. That's better. It was, oh, it had years of finger marks, dried finger marks on it. Look at that now. Okay. Stick that in. Hey, I'm giving Dave one of my best C D CDs. Uh, yeah, I know he appreciates me. I hope. Right, so I'm going to redo another test. Um. I'm going to do a surface test as well. Start. Okay. I'm going to pause while it does that. Does it? I don't know. I'll come back when it's done. Because my video is getting big. Actually, unpause again because look how fast this is. Oh, my God. 12 times speed. Oh, that's amazing. 
if i was doing this on the phillips one it would take like four times it would be about four times speed it's the phillips i'm not getting against phillips i love phillips but the they're just their blue their rewritable discs were just old um when i got them and we're talking about 1997 i think but these tdk ones came out much later so they're a lot faster technology just got better but look how fast this is scanning <laughs> amazing <laughs> mind you the data on there isn't big anyway there's there's not much data on that disc so it's probably why it's going really fast but 94 percent good no bad errors no problems now it's doing the file test amazing really fast mind you it's not a big image that's on there so it's uh, it's determined by the size of the image on the disc anyway i suppose ah completed no errors it's uh perfect seven good so there's only for seven files so i think there's an image i don't know anyway that's good right so i'm going to attempt to erase that disc now Right, erase rewritable disk. Uh, I'm going to go with what was it? Unclose the last session. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Unclose last session. Let's try that because I hmm. Um. Oh no. I'll just erase the full erase full erase. Yeah. Maximum speed, let's see what speed. We can go up to ten times. I'll go up to whatever it says maximum. Erase disk. Right. So it's gonna take ten minutes. Basically uh, if I don't pause the video, that's ten minutes for you guys. So I'm gonna pause. Um it says ten minutes forty three, it's counting down. Right, pause anyway. You know, people probably think I'm retro. Well, I am actually. <laughs> um, um, I suppose you could call me steampunk, but I don't really engage in steampunk stuff. But, you know, old technology. But I just love the old technology because I'm old school. I mean, I was born in 1959, so I am old school. I mean, it's not getting away from it. I just love the old stuff, you know, uh, the old mechanical things. And um, I like simple analogue systems i don't like digital bs because you you lose control of it basically it controls you analog stuff we control digital stuff they control get the picture but uh that's one of the problems with new technology it was supposed to come out and be um our slave um, technology was supposed to be under our control Unfortunately, what they didn't tell you was that only certain elites would be controlling it at some point because over time, um, our computers and everything else becomes dependent on authorization and copyright and um, uh, external consent, basically. So you can't do this, you can't do that without permission. You've got to register which is basically the same thing as licensing. So, I mean, it's all the same thing, really. Uh, eventually, you end up with a situation where you no longer own anything and you'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem with rewritable discs is you have to write them twice because usually you've got to erase them. And you've got, then you've got to write the data to them, so they are pretty slow, but at least they're environmentally friendly because instead of having landfill with um, tons and tons of wasted plastic, um, you have, if you've got a re re rewritable CDs, um, you can put a lot of stuff on them and use it, the disc again and again and again. I, I can't remember how many times, I think it was three or four hundred times or something on these rewritable discs that you can use them. But um, in saying that, they do deteriorate over time. So sometimes what I have to do is if 
a, a laser disc and the laser power on the, the writer isn't very strong um, I have to bone stick it in my other Pioneer portable USB writer which has a stronger laser and use that one to erase it so sometimes I've done that and it's recovered the disc it's made the disc usable again because sometimes if you don't write, erase the disc properly for example if you do a quick erase it leaves data on the disc it just erases the boot section of the disc and if you try to rewrite another image to it it sometimes you have what's called um, bleed through um, previous data comes through and causes the disk to be read as corrupted so that can happen on a rewritable disk where it appears that the disk is corrupt but it's not it's just that the original data that was on it wasn't properly erased so what you need to do is find uh, is get a better quality writer uh, with a stronger laser to erase it and then you're okay you can write the the new image to it without a problem so some people a few years ago i had about what five or six uh phillips rewritable uh cds uh they were all four times and i made a bit of a mistake i actually threw three of them away and i wish i hadn't because later on i discovered that they were all going like that they were all going bad and i realized that you can actually still erase them on a stronger laser and you can still bring them back to life and i did anyway uh it's a it's a raise the disc um let's check it now if i go to my rear sewing inspector it, it won't read it now because it's going to say it's blank so we go to scan you see so it won't say start because there's no data on it now it's blank right it says it's grayed out uh, the disk is blank right so it has been erased. it's blank media inserted there, there you go look can you see that uh, zoom in a bit oops wrong way so if you look at the top right right where my mouse is it says blank media inserted so it has been erased so all I have to do now oops is get the CD that's got <sighs> Zorin on it. Oh, I don't even have to do that. I've got the original image, and that's do. Just get uh, let's open. Let's find Zorin. I used images. Zorin seventeen. There it is, Zorin OS 17 core 64 bit. Right, open that. I don't even have to copy a disk because I've got the original image from that I downloaded. So I'm going to write that at four times speed because it'll make a better impression on the disk. So I don't write disks at highest maximum speeds because the data is, the laser is, well, the disk is moving faster. The laser has less chance to embed the data in the disk, right? It's better to write the disc at slower speeds. Oh, it says DVD. Oh, shit, I want CD. CD, right. There you go. Oh, what? How big is this? I thought I could put it on a CD. Uh, maybe not. Oh shit, does that mean I've got to put it on a DVD? I don't believe it. Hang on a minute. I've just erased the disc for no reason. I thought I could write it to a CD. Hang on a minute, let me see. I can't remember now. Sorry, not 17. How big are you? Oh, <laughs> oh it's 3.67 gigabyte. Oops, uh, I was going to put it on a CD. I can't. Ah, you see what I mean? I'm I'm totally lost. It. I'm gonna to have to put it in a CD for Dave. I've got some CDs anyway. All right. So right. So I've just erased the disc for no reason. Okay, no problem. Um, right. So I need a blank C DVD. So I'm gonna to have to dig that out now. <clears throat> 
I have no idea why I thought I could put Zorian Off 17 on a CD. I, cause, oh, I thought it was really tiny. Ah, obviously not. Um, no worries. Okay, so I put a blank DVD in. <laughs> I don't think you can buy blank DVDs. I mean, rewritable DVDs, by the way. Um, all right, so we're going to put it on a DVD. <sighs> Instead. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, I'm I'm just my brain's not working. Open Zorin off seventeen. We're gonna stick it on a DVD this time. Right, DVD image, and I'll write it at uh, six times speed. I think that will work. Right. Okay. So that's gonna fit on a DVD. No problem. I, I've got some blank DVDs. Luckily. Right, uh, let's see, I'll do this, burn, verify written data as well, okay. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to do that, anyway, I'm, I'm just going to give Dave a, a blank DVD, and uh, I mean, the Zorin DVD, not a blank DVD, <sighs> right, okay. <laughs> Oh the email not with it today. Hmm. Okay, so that'll work. <sighs> Six times speed and it's gonna get verified as well, so we'll know that the data on it's good. Hmm. Well on a positive note, I've got a clean C D that I can use again. <laughs> so hmm. I can rewrite a later version, maybe, of a Cornish, if, if I can find the image for it. Hmm. There should be an image around, floating around, because normally you don't have to buy the images, because sometimes the rescue media, whatever. I think it's just, you just have to buy the software you install, really. And sometimes you see these CDs around on internet, rescue media and stuff like that. I actually prefer Macrium Reflect because Macrium Reflect is, it used to be free, but it's not apparently, it's changed. Um, but <clears throat> the Macrium Reflect is better in that, that it can recognize Linux partitions. Uh, for some reason, the older Acronis, I don't know about the new one, but the older Acronis couldn't recognize the GPT partitions or something, they couldn't back them up or something. I tried, didn't work for me. Have you ever noticed if you try to install Windows on another partition and you've already got Windows installed on a different partition? It won't let you. It will say Windows is already installed on this machine. Would you like Windows to install? In the same directory as your older version of windows and even if you say no it'll still do it it'll interfere with it um basically you end up with dependencies so you can't delete the old operating system later on because windows is basically put as tied into it <clears throat> the only way to do it is to <coughs> 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 unplug the other drives yeah but I was under the same pretense that Linux would do something similar but it doesn't Linux is a lot less intrusive it, it respects the fact that you might want to have an independent operating system and, and it, it will actually create boot menus for, like, for you and everything and um yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, it'll create book menus for you to the all other operating systems if they, if they're actually mounted during when you're installing it, which is the mistake I made. I actually unplugged all my other hard drives, and because of that, Windows Linux didn't think there was any other operating systems, so it disabled the boot manager, the grub. <coughs> <coughs> if only, <coughs> if only I'd known, I would have left my other hard drives plugged in. It would have saved me such a lot of hassle. 
Anyway, it's data verification now. It um, it burned the disk. Completed successfully. Now it's um. Now it's doing the data verification. My finger is just twitchy, that's why it's jumping in Zoom. Sorry about that. My finger's twitchy. Can't control my nerves. Uh, okay, so that worked. Uh, okay, I just did myself um, uh, a, what do you call it? Uh, a burger bun thing in the microwave. I've got a plastic because so I don't want to get my. <coughs> I don't want to burn myself, it's pretty hot, so it'll keep it from drying out. <coughs> keep it from drying out as well, because when you microwave stuff like that, it tends to, the bread tends to go a bit dry after a minute or two. <coughs> okay, I don't know if I got cold or what, but I feel like I've got cold. Mind you, it's winter, in it, so anything can happen. <laughs> I'm always copying though. It's a very, 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 very slow death. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh. They say that from the moment we're born, <coughs> from the moment we're born, we basically start dying from that point onwards <laughs> oh dear mate well anyway because let's face it once you're exposed to the environment all the viruses everything else you it's like you're under attack <laughs> oh well anyway um so there's the image there's the dvd and that's the bootable dvd uh, it's all done. Uh, I suppose I'll do a dis. It's verified the data anyway. It's already verified, but uh, I think that's it because this video is too long as it is. So yeah, I'm gonna have to compress it in my Zorin. Uh, I, I don't want to boot from it, so um. <sighs> I'll take the disc out. Get off my fat ass and get the disc out. So I'll reboot back into Zorin now. That's all done. Uh, I've got to write on the label. Come on, freaking Windows, you're so freaking slow. Uh, restart. Right, so. Uh, zoom out. So, Zorin is going to get written on here. There we go. There's your disc, Dave. <laughs> I wrote on it for you because if I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll forget where it is. It might end up back in my 
<coughs> might end up back in my un un uh, what do you call it unknown pile. I've got to find um I've got to find a plastic sleeve for it now. Oh God, oh, that's going to be a challenge. Have I got uh, a plastic sleeve I can use? Oh, no. Well, I can put my gag bootloader in with one of these other discs. Let's see. Two in it already. As soon as I put two discs in one box, because it. Um, oh, let's see. What about this one? Oh, I've already checked that one. That's got two in it. I'm going to run out of space. I need some more. Um, ah, put it in there. So I put my gag bootloader in with Easy Recovery Essentials. So I'm not going to be using that for a while now anyway. I'll stick that in there. I can use that for Dave's disc. Uh, I need to buy some more of these plastic thingies. Uh, ah, I can't get it. I right, dropped it in that box. Then. So there it is. Um, nice clean new disc. Stick it in here, keep it clean. I'll stick it in my handbag because I'll forget to give it to me if I don't. Mm. Right, so we've got that all done. Uh, I can go back to watching my video now. Oh, I've got to turn my router back on. I turned it off just for extra safety so that my internet doesn't get doesn't infect XP which is so freaking easy you can end up with a hundred viruses just like that oh I managed to almost flick my fingers but not quite oh one hour this video so I'm going to put this video into my Caden Live and compress it um, so this should pick up my internet. Oh, come on. Uh, where are we? It should detect my internet any second now. Because it's got an error message at the uh, top of the screen there. Saying connection failed because my internet was turned off. So I'm waiting for that to come back on. Uh <sighs> Okay, uh, we'll see you later. Uh, hopefully my internet's going to work now. Oh, look, it's gone, that box. Right, maybe I can resume where I left off. <laughs> Come on, the internet's back now. Come on. Retry. A little man sitting on the moon. <laughs> uh, retry. Come on. For God's sake, my internet should be back by now. Hang on. 
settings. Network. Oh, it's turned off. Right. There, yeah, back on that. Cool. So, we'll see you later. Bye for now.